Welcome to Lake Tahoe. You are looking at the famous emerald bait in 3D spatial video. If you are watching this video on a 2D display, it will look funky. This is a spatial video shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It is designed for Apple Vision Pro. The original MV HEVC spatial video is available to download. The link is below. Suppose you don't have the Vision Pro. In that case, you can watch this YouTube 3D spatial video directly on your MetaCraft 3 Pico VR headset or better, on the Virtual One XR glasses. This sunglasses light portable XR device supports natively Apple spatial video, 3D video on YouTube, and even 3D 360 top and bottom stereoscopic video, which we will safely assume Vision Pro will also support. There is lots of talk about Apple spatial videos, but no one can show you what spatial video looks like, what kind of content spatial video is good for, and how to shoot them. I have been shooting spatial video with the latest Apple firmware for the last month. Before that, I had over 10 plus years of experience in 3D and VR filmmaking. In this special video, I will walk you through different use cases for professional content creators who will likely shoot more than just close-up foods and their family vacations. <laughs> <laughs> we will show you a scenic meditation use case in Lake Tahoe and why putting objects close in front ground will look better in 3D. We will show you spatial video in motion like the heavenly gondola ride right here, which by the way, costs almost 200 US dollars per ticket. We will even show you an unboxing video for gear reviewers looking to level up their next unboxing video in 3D spatial. We will explain the limitation of iPhone-based spatial video and why close-up and low angles are always gonna be better. It's kimchi silhouette. No. <laughs> hey, sorry. And how you can use the larger than life 3D perspective to your advantage. Let's go. Let's start with the most interesting shot, spatial video in motion. I don't have a drone that can carry my iPhone 15 Pro Max, so the next best thing is to mount the iPhone on the heavenly gondola and capture the whole ride downhill. I do want to point out the ride is pretty shaky, but the iPhone stabilization did an amazing job of stabilizing the spatial video. It is better than in Star 3 the Evo or Kendall Eagle on anti-shake stabilization, which is the key to not making people sick inside the Vision Pro. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google VR roller coaster on YouTube, watch it, you will get it. The moving 3D parallax creates a very interesting effect. Pay attention to the trees on the left and right. It really gives you a sense of movement that traditional 2D video cannot. You feel like you are there in motion. I used Topaz Video AI to enhance the video quality as my iPhone was inside the cart shot through a very dirty window just to show you AI works the same in spatial video. So if you are complaining the 1080p 30 frame per second resolution like other influencers do, just use AI to up and up frame rate your spatial video following this tutorial. And now it is a good time to ask you to subscribe and give this spatial video a like. No one on the internet showed you what spatial video looks like except me. 
with Division Pro dropping at the end of January 2024. I will continue to teach you how to film, edit, and publish special video. Subscribe to us so you can be one of the first creators to film in special for Vision Pro. Next, let's talk about filming a scenic relaxation video for meditation. Video with 3D depth really tricks the brain into thinking you are one with the nature. Like this mono lake video right here. Especially when you get to experience this inside the Vision Pro or even just the Metacraft 3. One thing about filming large landscape in spatial video is always to put something in the foreground to create 3D depth like the grass right here. Or just point your camera to this interesting rock covered by salt. Mono Lake is a saline soda lake formed at least 760,000 years ago. The lack of an outlet caused high levels of salt to accumulate in the lake, which makes it water alkali. As you see, the salt accumulate here in 3D. It is a nature wonder you are watching now in spatial. Pretty cool, huh? Let's make one thing clear. Spatial video is a fancy way to call 3D video. Apple Spatial Video is not a 6 degree of freedom volumetric video, even though their commercials are kinda misleading. For 3D to work better, you need your iPhone close to the subject. Not too close, but need to get closer than traditional 2D. So Spatial Video is great for pet and animal lovers. As you see Kim Ki close up here, you cannot even get that close in real life for an animal encounter. You can however, in special video. Super cool. Just like 3D video capture, you will need mostly stationary capture or put your phone on a gimbal. All the samples you see in this video are me hand holding the iPhone. Not recommended. Like this snowboarding footage, it will make you sick immediately in the headset. So make sure bring a tripod with you next time filming in special video or put your phone down on the ground. Low angle shot looks super good in special video. Because of the narrow lens separation, iPhone spatial video tends to make the subject look larger than life. It gives a unique perspective compared to filming the subject standing up. I'm not saying you should not film your subject in eye level, it is just boring and make your videos look like an iPhone video, ironically. It's a video. No, it's a video. Oh, it's a video. Because of the 3D nature, spatial video is also great for unboxing video. Let's take a look at my recent unboxing video of the Virtual XR glasses right here. Hey, it's Christmas time and me and Kimchi gonna unbox the brand new Virtual AR XR MR headset. This thing can play special video. So come on in. So it's really cool that it's XR glasses right here. Just pull it. Ooh. Wow, look at that. It's a very funky, cool hipster design. Put this apart and how to open it. Oh, look at that. The future is here. Come closer. Whoa. Let me show you again. The way how to open it. Look at that. That is really cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's actually, it's very tiny glasses. ASMR and special we can do it again. <laughs> Not the airplane. But ASMR special video. With kimchi. Doing it in the background. Look at that. That is the glasses. It's pretty thick here. Because it let you adjust. But the glasses itself is really tiny. So. You get a jet vision right here. So I am actually really bad with really bad vision. So let me see if I can see it. So adjust the vision top dial and you want to see clearly clearly. What? It's kinda cool. Yeah, that's dope. Look at that. Is that sunglasses? 
So if you wear it, nobody knows what you're wearing. But in here, you see all the 3D glasses. It's actually not lock level. It's like in a 2D angle. So it's really smart design. And in 3D. Hey. I hope I have sold you the power of spatial video and got you excited about the upcoming Apple Vision Pro release or try out the new virtual XR glasses to experience spatial video today. Spatial video is not limited to just 16x9 3D videos. If you have the Canon EOS VR system or other VR 180 cameras, you can create immersive MVHEVC videos to utilize the full 180 or even the full 360 inside the Vision Pro. If you want to learn how I edit this 3D spatial video, how to encode it for multiple displays, and how to insert your own 3D graphics inside a spatial video shot on the iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss all the upcoming spatial video tutorials. I will see you in spatial next time.